What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another What's Coming Thursday video. We're going to be checking out everything that's coming tomorrow. We do have a couple of teases of the players. We're going to be getting a double pack. We're going to be getting a standard player of the week with boosters and we're going to be getting a European club championship player of the week with boosters as well. And we're going to see what players are going to be there uh, or what it looks like, right? But also on top of that as well, a few people have been asking me about the bonus that we were going to be getting for the Halloween campaign, right? So when you log in today, when you're watching this video on the 30th, you will get your 100 e football coins. Now, a lot of people have been asking me about what you're going to be getting with this present, uh, which was today, which is on the 30th, and it looks like it is that, right? So if you go all the way over here to the Halloween, you will see the Halloween campaign, you will see that you get a special login present from between the 30th and the 1st of November. So it looks like it's going to be those coins, uh, that they're just kind of like a happy Halloween special login, right? A few people were asking me, could it have been this Martinelli that was added to the database. So this Martinelli, in my opinion, is either going to come as a freebie tomorrow and he's going to be a second free login bonus or he's going to be in the shop that you can buy with points because I think that they're going to be getting rid of the points. I think that they're going to be doing a bit of, um, not a reset, but I'll talk about kind of like what I think they're going to be doing for the foreseeable future, right? So this Martinelli, that's his stats there uh, if you wanted to see him. But yeah, it's going to be pretty much about the cards. We know that this match pass is going to be ongoing for another week. So there's another week it's going to be reset. And obviously that's going to be the same with the eFootball phase as well. Also, the eFootball championship is kicking off as well with the pro clubs, uh, which is going to be interesting. We'll cover that in a separate video as well, because I know it doesn't really interest that many people. But I want to do a video on the eSports, man. And we're going to just plan a few bits and pieces with that, with competitions and stuff. Um, and, and yeah, just, just have a chat about it, you know. Um, but so it's going to be mostly about cards, lads. Obviously, we're going to have a couple of worldwide players. It looks like we will get Lewandowski. Obviously, this is from uh, the Madrid match. I mean, it depends on what players that they bring. We know that they're going to be bringing a double pack. We also know that they're going to be bringing some sort of showtime players. I reckon, lads, right, and this could be maybe a bit, yeah, of a mad one. I do reckon that these are the two uh, players that are going to come. I also think we could get João Neves, we could get Cavara, and they could be the worldwide ones, right? I think with the double pack, it's all but kind of confirmed that we will be getting hat-trick hero Rafinha, who scored a hat-trick against Bayern. And Minamino is there as well. It looks like we could get him. It depends. It depends on what positions, what players. It could be Vinny e as well. Vinny could come as well. We have uh, a few other players that could come there um, from AC Milan. There's a few players from Lille. Jonathan David could feature as well. It just depends. Now, when we're talking about Showtime, boys, right? I... <sighs> I don't know will we get, man, I don't know will we get uh, the likes of Rodri. Obviously because, you know, they don't they don't need the license, man. This is the thing. They could release a big Showtime uh, Rodri. There's no problem with releasing that, you know what I mean? And, and they could definitely release one for Lamine Yamal. Obviously they wouldn't be using artwork like this, but they could use it in a way that it's just a generic card with like really, really nice... Uh, you know, like the special edition of Griezmann that they had uh, or any of those that they used before such as this special Messi that they brought out. Remember when they brought out these Messis with the special booster, the purple booster or the orange booster, a bearer of fate. There is also another couple of them there as well. Basically, these special ones that you see there. Um, they also brought out Griezmann, of course, that we had. It just depends, man, what they want to do. And like, they can do stuff with them if they really want to. Obviously, we had this Messi as well, the undisputed. So it just depends what they want to do. Griezmann, of course, is, uh, as well was the Le, P Le Petit Prince. So they can bring out these type of cards without having exclusive, you know, like they don't, they can do it if they wanted to. So that is kind of what I was thinking. Maybe they could actually go that route with Lamine because obviously they're partnered with Barcelona um, and they could just bring out a really nice booster, maybe an upgradable booster of Lamine, you know, or something like that. They could actually do something really cool. Other than that, I mean, will we get the actual boys uh, coming out, number one, two, and three, in the voting for the Ballon d'Or? A lot of controversy about the Ballon d'Or. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about that as well. But Rodri, Vinny, and Bellingham were number one, two, and three in the voting. Um, we could get double booster Rodri. It depends, man. It depends. They can, they can do it if they want, I suppose. But I do feel like that they will probably concentrate on, um, on different things this week, especially because that there's going to be a big update soon, right? But until then, we are just going to be getting kind of the same as we've been getting. Obviously, we'll probably get a few more packs. You know, the whole Manchester United situation with the new uh, manager, Amaron, or Amarine coming in as well from Sporting, that looks like it's a done deal. We will have on Monday brand new attack or brand new epics. 
Um, and we will, as I said, we will get new Showtime. Showtime seem to be launching now with the Player of the Weeks as well. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. But obviously, usually there's an update, a bigger kind of update and content refresh. And that's what I had heard, but is that it was going to be the first week of November and then there was going to be another one after this. So you're kind of looking at December. So you'll be talking about maybe between the 5th and the 10th or the 5th and the 12th of December that we're going to be getting the next big major update. Obviously, the, the update in seven days time when we get all the new nominating contracts and stuff, it won't be as large. Um, but that will be probably tied into this. Do you see the 42 days left? That's probably what's going to be tied in there. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you'd like to see Ballon d'Or type cards. And uh, we will see you in the live stream tomorrow. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe.